Morris Light Reconnaissance Car LRC was a British light armoured car for reconnaissance use produced by Morris Motors Limited and used by the British during the Second World War. The Nuffield Group had been brought in to supplement production of light reconnaissance cars by Standard Motor Company Beaverette and Humber Humberlack, also known as Humberette. The vehicle had an unusual internal arrangement, with the three-man crew sitting side by side by side with the driver in the middle, a crewman manning a small multi-sided turret mounting a Bren light machine gun on the right, and another with a boy's .55-inch anti-tank rifle mounted in brackets in the hatches on the hull roof and access to radio set on the left. From 1940 to 1944, over 2,200 were built. The vehicle was used in the North African, Italian and in Northwest Europe campaigns. Some served with the RAF regiment, others were given to Polish units. One of the surviving vehicles is on display at the Imperial War Museum Duxford, another at the Tank Museum, Bovington. There is also a surviving example at the Military Museum at Port Dixon, Malaysia. Topic Variants MKI Original Version MKI Op Observation Post Version No Turret Equipped with two rangefinders MK2 4x4 chassis Morris Experimental Tank had two turrets never reached production Firefly, an experiment by Morris to use six-pounder guns from the period before the tanks became available to mount them. A QF six-pounder anti-tank gun was mounted in the front of the hull. It was rejected. Salamander, a narrow two-seat version of the Morris LRC with a turret on top. Prototype, built but no production. Glanville Fighter Car, a one-seat version of the Morris LRC with two fixed machine guns. Prototype, built but no production. <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>